spent a month in the West Bank. I interviewed hundreds of Palestinians. Not one person ever said anything remotely genocidal about Israelis. All of them just said, we just want to live and coexist side by side. We just want to live in peace. Why do they have to move on top of our villages? Why do they have to do this to us? Why do they have to bully, harass, and intimidate us? Why can't they just coexist with us? I went to Jerusalem to a place called Tolerance Square for literally like three hours. And the racism and vitriolic genocidal incitement against Palestinians was palpable. I mean, all I did was just go around and do man on the streets. Like I do, I do that everywhere I go. I just like to get a snapshot of where people's minds are at. And I literally just asked Israel, it wasn't even just Israelis. It was settlers. It was, um, just American citizens who were there just moving to Israel. Of course, we know a lot of people just up and move, just like Netanyahu himself, who's from Philadelphia. I just simply asked them, what do you think about the situation? And you should hear the rhetoric that came out of people's mouths, knowing that they were on camera. Every single one espoused um, genocide or ethnic cleansing. And it was just absolutely horrific what I was hearing with my own eyes. One Israeli told me that they were a leftist and they said, I just want the, the occupation to be more humane. And he said, leftist is a slur here in Israel. I have colleagues, uh, Dan Sheen, who, I'm sorry, David Sheen, who would go to rallies and embed himself in these fascist rallies in Tel Aviv, where you have thousands of people chanting, not just death to Arabs, but death to the leftists, death to the leftists, because there's a saying in Israeli society that leftists are AIDS and Arabs are the common cold. You can't get rid of the common cold unless you get rid of AIDS. Um, and that's really genuinely what they think, because they want the final solution for the Arabs. They want to expel or kill all Arabs so they could have essentially an ethno state because they, they think the same thing about African Jews, whether it be Ethiopian Jews who are administered deprovera against their will. I mean, we went to an anti refugee rally of Eritreans, uh, people from Sudan and Darfur who are fleeing genocide. And you had hundreds of people. Uh, I mean, not just hundreds, thousands of people who are protesting what they called infiltrators who are Africans fleeing genocide. And I talked to several people who said that they were leftists who said, we want to support the struggle against Africans. Um, I'm a member of the labor party. Uh, these people are infiltrators. They come here with their horrible habits and we need to expel them all, send them back to mother Africa. It's just like, my God, I mean, the contradictions and hypocrisy of, uh, you know, people who are immigrants settling on ethnically cleansed Palestinian land to actually say that Africans are, you know, need to go back to their country is just absolutely mind blowing. But yes, there really is such a diminishing left in Israel. I mean, just look at the genocidal onslaught. Look at the polling. Less than 2%, less than 2% thought that Israel was using too much firepower in Gaza after they obliterated and decimated the entire Gaza Strip. Less than 2%. You go back to the 2014 onslaught in Gaza where 2,500 Palestinians were killed, 500 children, 95% of Israelis supported that. The open fire policy at this fortified border fence, overwhelming majority, over 90% of Israelis support that. There were some Israeli human rights advocates that tried to take that policy to the Knesset and it was overwhelmingly, unanimously upheld that, no, we can shoot to kill unarmed people who are just straying too close to this border fence that essentially just prevents them from getting back to their ancestral lands. That's how fascist Israeli society is. I hate when I see politicians just trying to denounce Netanyahu as some sort of aberration from Israeli society. No, this is the norm. This is the norm. Look at every single cabinet minister. Every single member of the Knesset is out there spewing genocide, advocating mass murder of not just Palestinians, but babies, babies. It is sick. It is sick. And I, I, I will never forgive journalists who are towing this line and pretending like this is some sort of aberration of the Likudniks and Netanyahu's. No, this is Israel. This is Israel. This is a settler colonial state founded upon ethnic cleansing, and it only exists because of the continuous ethnic cleansing of the indigenous population. And you have to have indoctrination from cradle to grave, and you have to espouse 
the most horrific dehumanizing language possible to paint those people as barbaric human animals to condone and tolerate those policies against these people for 75 plus years. So that's Israeli society. I saw it firsthand. I saw it firsthand and people want to paint those interviews that I did. Oh, I'm trying to do a gotcha. Oh, I'm trying to pick the most crazy sounding people. No, that's Israeli society. The left is non-existent, Ash.